So thinking of myself now as a fourth year medical student um, graduating this year, the, the things that really make me who I am, um, there's a lot of things I can think about. Um, going back to my childhood, um, growing up in the farms of Northern California with my parents, um, working side by side with them um, to help support my family, uh, just for the day day to day things to you know buy school clothes, uh, um, just to, to survive during those those times. Um, I remember those being some of the challenging times in my life, but some of the best times as well. Growing up, I didn't realize we were disadvantaged because all I knew was uh, living in the farms with the uh, you know living with the other farm workers, the other families, the other people around. It wasn't until I got a little bit older when I started to realize like, wow, you know, there's a large disparity in, in my population, the people that I grew up with um, and other people. Uh, I remember growing up, when we got sick, you know, there was nobody to go to, there was no doctors to go see. We didn't have any insurance. And I remember my mom being able to take care of us with some um, remedios that they, had brought with them you know from Mexico and and things that worked uh, uh, with the elders in Mexico the, the things that had been passed down from generation to generation my wife and I met when we were in high school by the time I was in 12th grade uh, I was a father so one of the main challenges of being one of the first members of my family to graduate um, college or to even go to college um, was trying to navigate my way through the educational system. Um, for instance, I didn't know which classes to apply to, how to apply, where to even start. Um, um, and to me, one of the main things that really helped me kind of find my path was to kind of align myself with people who had been there, uh, was at the uh, pre-health pre conference at UC Davis. Um, I started going to the conference when I was in junior college and I was dreaming of going to medical school. I was dreaming of going to a, a, a four-year university and by going to that conference I was able to meet people and establish connections. Those connections were very instrumental in helping to guide my path into not only transferring to university but um, also going uh, uh, through the application process and going into medical school. Um, and now as a medical student, one of the things that, that drives me the most is to uh, kind of give back to, to the community. So I, to this day, continue going to the conferences and I hold workshops for students who have non-traditional backgrounds like myself, people with children, people who are uh, first generation, um, people who are thinking of switching careers, um, I definitely think I have a lot of information and guidance that I can offer. It really gives me a sense of, of pride, um, especially with the, the humble background that, that uh, I grew up in. Um, and you know, now when I go back and I visit the teachers that were, were my teachers and I visit the school and it's changed so much over the years, um, but I still go back and I still visit some of the, uh, the, the buildings and the garden that, that's there that my son works in and I remember working there as a kid myself um, and it just gave me a big sense of pride because nobody at that point in time not even myself would have imagined that I was going to go into medicine um, and you know to see people the look on people's face when when they realize what I've accomplished and where I am today um, it, you know it makes me makes me proud to feel that coming from such a humble background I'm able to accomplish uh, everything I have.